This is a super simple MASM calculator. Well, kind of a calculator. Right now it just does addition, right? We can only calculate the sum. I'm going to walk through it line by line and let's see if we can, uh, well, teach it one or two more tricks. So, uh, what I'm using again is uh, MASM and it is the assembly language for the, what is it, x86 processors. So, Let's see. First, I'll show you what this program is going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do debug, start without debugging. And there we are. Our first number, 8 and uh, 3. Ta-da! 8 plus 3 equals 11. So, phew, got that right. Now, how does it do this? In assembly language. So, first we have, and I am using the... Irvine 32.inc, right? I'm including that library. Now, under data, data is where your variable declarations go. D word is the size. It is a double word. And what that means really is that the D word or the double word represents 32 bits of storage. So obviously then if a double word, D word is 32, just a word is 16. And then a byte is, well, 8 bits. So a byte is 8 bits, a D word is 32 bits. Um, and so we are representing uh, various parts of data accordingly. Notice that we're using a D word on all of these variables that we're leaving open for definition, right, to be defined. I'm actually going to move these all down here so they're in the same spot, just for clarity. Okay, so all these top ones, these strings that I've already defined, I'm using byte for. And then all the things that have yet to be defined, I am going to use dword and then this uh, question mark. Now, dot code signals, signals that this is where the executable part of the program goes. This is kind of our main function. Okay, and then... Uh, Not sure what happened here. Program, uh, maybe output, code, title, and author, maybe? That was a mess. I'll put code, title, and author. And so code title is this thing, right? So what we're doing here is move the code title to the EDX register. And we do want to use offset in this situation to grab the absolute address, uh, if you will, of the code title, moving it to the EDX register. Once we have it moved there, we're going to call write string because we're going to output code title, which is math magic, to the council. And then we're going to call uh, CRLF, which is short for carriage return line feed. Yes, I did have to figure that out. Uh, it was driving me nuts. But yeah, so that's just a new line. And then prompt, okay, so here we're going to be doing something similar, except this time we're taking user input. So we're going to move, and always on the left side is going to be the target, right? So always on the left side is going to be the target, um, and then the, on the right side is what is going to be going towards that target. So again, this is the source, prompt one, and this register is the target. All right, and then we're going to write string again, so we're going to output that string to the console window. And then th what's different here is we're going to read an integer. So whatever is typed in at this point, we are going to read. We call read int, and what do we do with that int? Well, we're going to move the EAX registrar into number one. So suddenly inside our number one variable contains the uh, number that we put in for this prompt, okay? And then down here, prompt second number, exact same thing, except instead the prompt I'll print out is second number, and then we are going to use read int, and then we're going to use our variable up here, number two, and grab whatever's in the EAX registrar and put that into number two. Now getting to the adding of these two numbers. So, we're going to move EAX, right? So, we're moving whatever number one is into this registrar. 
again, so this is the target, this is the source, so number one, whatever was in that variable is going into our EAX registrar, it's going to be equal to number one at this point, then we're going to say add EAX, EAX, which now contains whatever number was in number one, we're going to, we're saying add EAX, add num2, this is the source, to our target, which is EAX. So whatever number's here in number two, that is added to whatever's in our EAX registrar, and that register is going to be, now total is brought up, right, our variable total. We're going to say, okay, this is the source, EAX is the source, and our the target is the total variable. So whatever's in this register, we're going to move over to total, right? And then finally, just printing it all out, we're going to go through some similar code here. Move EA, uh, the num1 back now to our EAX register. We're going to call write decimal. We're doing that to eliminate any possible uh, zeros, but also the plus sign that is uh, that can occur when writing out these numbers. Now we're going to print the plus sign, and how I'm doing this is way up here is this right plus byte i made a string with just a addition sign and then i'm going to print out uh the next number the second number entered by moving that second number uh salute uh original into our target right source target is going to be eax so we're moving number two to eax register and then i'm going to call write decimal again to write it out and then I'm going to move, you need to offset this string, this equal string, because it's just a string of an equal sign. We're moving that into the EDX registrar, and I'm going to write that string out. Finally, I'm going to move the total to EAX, write it as a decimal so it doesn't have a plus sign in front of it, and then uh, to CRLF, CRLF for two line breaks. And that gives us our handy little addition calculator. So I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm also, well, I'll explain it in a sec. So control F5 to run, and I don't know, 37, and 2. But uh, I'm also going to post all of this, uh, all this code in the description below, so you can take a look at it yourself.